G'day everybody, my name is Mark Reed from the Great Barrier Marine Park Authority. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a low rance elite chart plotter so you know what zone you're in when you're out on the water. Illegal fishing is one of the biggest threats to the reef and it can land you a hefty fine. The best way you can avoid a fine and protect the reef is by knowing and following the Great Barrier Reef Park's zoning rules. You need to know where you're going and what's allowed to ensure you're not poaching from a no-take green zone. A chart plotter is a great tool for helping to know where you are in the marine parks, but you need to know how to read it properly and understand how zoning is shown on your unit. Each brand is different. Now, let's look at the Low Rance Elite Chart Plotter Unit. What we're showing on the screen of this unit here is Cape Cleveland and Magnetic Island. So this is one of our local fishing spots. If you look here, you can see there's a red line that goes from Cape Cleveland down to this creek here. On the inside of this is a conservation park or yellow zone. However, on the low ranch unit, you can see that it's not yellow. And even if we zoom in a little bit, you can actually see that it doesn't have any legend or markings on it. So what you can see now when you cross-reference the hard copy zoning map with the Low Rance Elite chart plotter is you can see the conservation park zone outlined in yellow there, but not outlined in yellow on this side. So once again, it's really important to make sure you cross-check between your chart plotter and a hard copy of a zoning map to know where you are and what you can do. I'll now show you how to check the datum on the Low Rance Elite Chart Plotter Unit. First of all, we're going to select the page function. We're then going to go into settings. And you can see this line here that says datum. If you hit that one, they're the list of datums that you can choose from. On the Low Rance Elite Chart Plotter, I don't have the geocentric datum of Australia. And so I use the default WGS84. For navigation purposes, these two datums are almost identical. The other important thing to do is to cross-check the GPS coordinates on your chart plotter with those that are marked on the sign at your boat ramp. Now you know how to recognise zoning on the Low Rance Elite chart plotter, here are some other tips. Before you go out on the water, check, number one, do you have the latest updates on your navigation card that shows you the zoning overlays. If not, then contact your local supplier for available options. Two, and very importantly, before launching your boat, check that the chart plotter unit is working properly. Three, make sure your GPS datum is set to Geocentric Datum of Australia 1994. If your unit doesn't have that datum, like the Low Rance Elite, choose WGS84 as your default datum instead. Cross-check your chart plotter with a hard copy zoning map. These are free from all tackle shops and visitor information centres. A good tip is to fold your zoning map so you can see the area you're fishing in, put the map in a protector and sit it behind your chart plotter unit while you're out in the water for quick reference. Also, download the free Eye on the Reef app which shows zoning even when you're out of mobile range. Download it from the App Store or Google Play before you head out on the water. Thank you for watching and helping us to protect your special patch of the reef.